Well, good afternoon, West Ham fans. Let's try and predict the 11 for the Brentford game later on today. <laughs> everybody, Russ on the Western Network. Hope you're all safe and well. So it's only a few short hours until we kick off against Brentford at the London Stadium. What could possibly go wrong, my friends, on the back of three defeats, uh, consecutive defeats in the Premier League? Surely we can't have a fourth. Surely we can't have a fourth. It's these type of games, though. And I was talking to um, uh, Jimmy, Jimmy Walk on Friday, and it's these types of games. And he was like, Moyes always gets seems to get a result from these results, you know, where we need to get something, his job's on the line, that type of thing. And, um, yeah, we've never beaten Brentford, I don't think, in the Premier League. There, there, there are new, particularly at home, from I think, I think so, I think I'm right. Um, there are new Brighton, there are new Brighton. But as we try and do a couple of hours before the game, we try and predict the starting 11. Anton will be around for the watch along. Um, and uh, I'll have done my, my match day morning uh, this afternoon at lunchtime just to get you in the mood. Although now I'm going to get off to the game now. <laughs> so, yeah, I did it actually here, then went to the game anyway. Um, so let's try and predict the 11. Um, obviously, the only mm, not issue, but maybe. Bone of contention is about Lucas Paqueta. Uh, Moyes said in his press conference that he was, uh, and rather you know, revelationary, um, sort of pretty proclaimed that uh, Lucas was going to be in the uh, in contention for the matchday squad uh, on Monday or today rather, and so it was a bit of a surprise to most people. Uh, and then last night he took to Twitter in terms of Lucas with a match graphic, a game graphic saying "See you tomorrow." So from player and from manager uh, in terms of whether he starts or not. We'll wait and see. Um, but I'm going to probably do a couple of different iterations. Let's get the easy ones out of the way. Um, Ariola in goal. Simples. Simples. Um, Emerson left back. I think he'll stick with Sufa right back. I would like to see Ben Johnson given a go at right back. I think he deserves it, but um, he won't do. Um, uh, and then a Gerd and Zuma. So Zuma's had a whole week off, so he'll be walking like a 70-year-old after about 25 minutes rather than 15 minutes. So there we go. Um, let's just sort all that out and sort all that bits and bobs and line all that up because my old OCD will kick you know, otherwise, and we don't want that, do we? Uh, let's put that at the top there. Perfect. Um, we know Calvin Phillips isn't going to be available, he's suspended. Um, so, bar any injuries tonight, uh, for the Everton game, we'll have our, our fully fit squad for the first time ever since, or fully or completely squad available since pre Christmas, isn't it? Because even like during the beginning of January and stuff like that, we had uh, obviously Lucas out and we had, um, Everyone was at the AFCONs and stuff as well. So no excuses then, is there? There's no excuses. Um, right, so Edson plays, obviously. Um, and then he'll go and then he'll he'll go if he's tried and trusted. He always does when he needs some sort of result. Um in terms of uh Suchek, in terms of JWP. Now, on the assumption that Lucas does play. Because he might do, knowing him, he might throw him in just because he, he's desperate for a result. Uh, I think it'll go like that. I think it goes like that. He, he'll persevere with this bowing up top thing, uh, and then Mickey on the bench to bring on, which I think to me, most people would prefer Mikel Antonio off the bench with 25, 30 minutes to go as an impact signing, as an impact sub, you know, just to, you know, particularly with, uh, you know, look at Brentford's defense. Likes of Ben Me, people like that. Um, actually, they don't know what Brentford got. Brent, what have they got injury wise? Let's have a quick look as we're as we're talking. Um, I think you know something like him coming on. We've always seen that as as fans as a bit of a home run, really. Um, I mean, Brentford have got who they got out. Anyone, any centre halves? Pinnock, um, he's out. Aaron Hickey, but he's been out for most of the season. Rico Henry, Josh De Silva, um, he's out until almost the end of next end of this year. Um, 
Kevin Schlade, which is uh, April, and um, Brian in Boma, who's I'm really glad he's not playing. He's obviously out till the end of March. Um, so, so there's you know someone like Ben Me, you know, 25 minutes ago, bringing on Antonio just to run riot, and uh, I think that would be useful idea. if he's not going to start with Paqueta, then I think he'll go with this. He'll put Gadus on the left, despite the fact it doesn't work. But he'll obviously interchange with Bowen, and then he'll put Antonio up top. So it's one or the other, isn't it? It's one or the other. Um, but I think it's quite easy. I, I think if he can squeeze Paqueta in, he will, uh, in my opinion. Um, if he is fit, he'll play him from the start because he's desperate for the win. Whether I agree with that, I don't necessarily agree with that. Um, you know, I would nurse him as much as we can through these first few games while he's getting back to full fitness. Um, but he did it before, didn't it? It was the Arsenal game, wasn't it? And uh, then he went off injured, didn't he? So it was not a special city game, wasn't it? He got, went off injured after about 15 minutes, wouldn't it? So we'll see. We'll see. I'm, 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 I'm apprehensive about starting him because he's so important to the side. I mean, people say, oh, he's a one-man player, one-man team, you know. We were the same with Bilic under Slav, you know what I mean? It's like we were. When 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 Payet wasn't playing, we looked like a, a standard side. We looked okay. But then, you know, we were, des- we were desperate for Payet to get back, weren't we, from injury. Do you remember? I think it was the Everton or Liverpool game we was off the pitch, and we were literally chanting for him all the time. And most, you know, We've always had it. It's been that situation, and I think you know it's shown how critical he is to this setup in terms of having a Paqueta, having some creativity, having some unpredictability in the middle, and that's how he's made that. That's how he makes this work uh, in terms of that sort of Moyes setup, that four one two three two two one or four one four one. You know, Paqueta would drop back and work, and and we we haven't seen a great performance from, from Emerson really since Ben Rama and Paqueta have both not been in the side, obviously Ben Rama being on loan and stuff. Emerson looks half the player without someone in front of him, in my opinion, to feed off, um, which is fair enough for any fullback. If you haven't got anything, you know, a good connection with the person in front of you, you don't know when to run forward, when to sort of hang back, when to overlap. But he has an, an, an innate, innate understanding with Paqueta. And then we'll see Emerson back to, you know, where he should be as one of the best left backs in the country, which he is in the Premier League, in my opinion. I think he is one of the best left backs in the Premier League at the moment, particularly the first half of the season he was. My only gripe would, I would like to have seen Jono given a run out on the right back slot, but he's going to stick with um, Soufal because it's these games where, I mean, he always does. He always does stick with them. And same as Suchek, you know, preferably I'd like to see maybe Suchek taken out and then leave Antonio up top, put Paqueta in that 10 role um, alongside JWP um, and just let him play in the middle. But we know, again, Moyes has set up, he likes to play sort of a central midfield on the left-hand side to overload the midfield. That's what he did. Did it at Everton, you know? Did it at Everton with the likes of Leon Osman, for example? So we know it happens. We know he's not going to not going to change it. So <laughs> if buts and maybes, you know, if me aren't here, bollocks would be my uncle. Um, anyway, let me know what you think in the comments below. Take care. Stay safe. Stay warm. Stay humble. Join Anton for the watch along a bit later on. And until next time, come on, you bloody irons. And hopefully we'll talk tomorrow and we'd have won a game. Beyond the realms of possibility, surely. <laughs>